So today we are looking at a recent uh, release from the uh, Red Empire, uh, Milwaukee. Red Empire, that kind of sounds communist. Let's see. Uh, made in Vietnam. Yeah, that tracks. It's definitely communist. Um, engineered by Milwaukee Tool, professionally made in Vietnam. So, I don't know, I guess that means they employ a half a dozen engineers in the States and ship manufacturing overseas. I don't know. Uh, you could probably leave that first part out. Just put the main thing in them. But, um, yeah, so these uh, particular tools first came across um, when Milwaukee did their little... Um, uh, circle jerk thing with they get the influencers who have never said anything bad about Milwaukee to come to their thing They spend the day there and they get the ooh and ah over Milwaukee's uh, latest Latest released. I actually did a video a short video on these. I was kind of making fun of the way they uh, did their little demo They had a see-through pipe with a nut at the bottom and then they hand selected a tool I think they were snap-ons with these huge grips that wouldn't do it uh, wouldn't wouldn't get the nut out and these would uh, my, my point was is that these seem like they're a pretty decent tool and um, there's there no need to do that I, I said that they wrapped a lot of tape around the grips but it just turned out that the grips were just really fat and they wrapped tape around them I don't know it just just kind of annoyed me I mean even, even the even the great Mr. Subaru got into my comments and he decided to correct me on the thing that I didn't say I don't like that guy he's kind of sending but anyway back to these yeah so these are basically a a low profile uh, long reach needle nose pliers I bought the set that comes with the straight and the one with like a 45 degree uh, bend on them and uh, yeah, like I said in the video, in the short video, they seem like a decent enough set of pliers, and uh, I will buy them when I get them. These particular ones, I couldn't find anywhere locally, so I got these off of Jersey Discount Tools, and um, uh, Nick over there, he always has decent decent prices on stuff like that, so uh, yeah, I picked them up off of him, and um, yeah, so let's take the camera, we'll face down and get these out of the package, and take a, take a close, uh, close look at them. And uh, see what we think. And this this will be the first time with the I'm going to try down facing camera with the new camera. I don't know if you noticed like two videos back I, I tried I'm trying out a new camera and uh, yeah we'll we'll see how that works out. It's a Sony ZV1 I think it is. It's kind of a default YouTuber camera. It's for people like me who don't want to learn about cameras. And uh, I'm going way off topic there. So uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is them fresh out of the package. Um, just kind of giving them the old in the hand feel. They feel nice. Not any resistance as far as the old swing mechanism goes there. Uh, as far as the jaws, like I said, one is straight and one's kind of kicked out at a uh, 45 degree angle there. Now as far as the grip goes on both of them, uh, up near the end here, I don't know how well you can see that. You kind of got a fine serrations, and then it kind of gets a little bit more aggressive. And then all the way down here in the throat here, you have kind of a semi-circular uh, serrations or, or gripping edge there for uh, grabbing things a little closer, a little bit more, a little bit more grip strength there. And you got a couple of cutouts here: small semicircle, a bigger semicircle, or oval, I guess, and a. Um, Looks like some sort of diamond, I guess, for gripping square items. Now, generally what these are used for, um, for me personally, on my day-to-day my -day use, is these just sit in the toolbox, and I got something kind of deep in a hole there. My regular needle nose pliers won't get it, like, say, a connector that I can't quite get to with my big gorilla hands. You just kind of stick these down inside there and uh, pull pull whatever you need out or twist it or, or what have you now my personal choice in the past would be for lighter applications these are I got them off the snap-on truck I'm not sure if they're snap-on if they're blue point uh, either way I probably paid too much for them and these are just kind of long reach hemostats that I would use kind of stuffing it down inside the the dark hole there and um, yeah that, that's these would be my go-to usually for, for situations like that. 
and on occasion where I need a little bit more grip I have these old snap-on ones again probably paid too much for them but um yeah these would be my 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 go-to before that as you know as you might notice there's a little bit of a nub ripped off there and I had a, a plug that I should have had a spanner wrench for I was trying to loosen so I kind of did this action and it was too tight so then I put a screwdriver in there and did that and I snapped the tip off of it and then I went and got the right tool <laughs> and I had to grind this one down so these these were still usable so getting into what makes these different than your standard long needle nose pliers I guess we'll call these is get these out of the way here so we get a better visualization I'm gonna line up the hinge for this to the hinge on that so and then we're gonna just open these up kinda equally there and you can see down here you have a lot more clearance going on as far as getting into things so you can kinda get into a deeper hole and still be able to um, grab things without having to worry about the clearance of that action going on right there. And the way they achieve that, I mean, seems to be pretty obvious, is that they just take their, their handle here and just kind of offset it, whereas to these are straight. And yeah, so you get less opening here with more opening down there. Now, like I mentioned before, um, th these are old snap-on ones. Uh, apparently, the new snap-on pliers. I haven't had a snap-on guy at a truck at a shop that I work at in probably ten years. But yeah, so these are the new ones. That um, I mean, the new ones. I should say not these are the new ones. These are obviously the old ones. Um, the new ones apparently snap-ons putting big fat grips on their handles there. So I guess for comfort. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of like the the more kind of textured grip that that these have compared to the milwaukee's these old snap-ons not much play in the hinge there which is usually how these things wear off wear out and then the uh, uh jaws don't close parallel actually you might be able to see that there kind of kind of offset a little bit there now the milwaukee's like i said you kind of got it's a thin grip and according to the I'm not sure if it says it's got a little symbol on there that has an electric uh, lightning bolt with a line through it. So I'm not sure if that means you can use these with electricity or you can't. Uh, so will it not shock you? And that's what that line means. Or do not use these because you will get shocked. I don't know. But anywho, um, yeah, you got the it's kind of a, th a thin grip on these. Just They just dip these in here and then they screen print, print Milwaukee on the side. Which, I mean, why bother? Because within a week, that's going to be worn off. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're not bad in the hand. You kind of have to... Yeah, that's not too bad. I was going to say that you have to spread them a lot to get a lot open down here. But, yeah, that's not too bad as far as gripping strength goes. A lot of, um, a lot of flex in there. Yeah, no more than the old snap-ons. I'm guessing, yeah. And they do have different, um, I think Crescent, and I think even Snap-on, I used to have a set. Or what they'll do is they'll put an extra hinge in here to get that low profile pinch. I'd never like those because you just compound the the play inside the hinge and it just kind of makes the uh, tips a little bit more uh, sloppy there. So that's it for these two right here. Um, in the hand, fresh out of the box, they seem like they're... Um, they're a decent enough tool. They do make a, they have a three set of um, uh, hose pullers, I guess you would call them. Um, they just have like a kind of a, a circle on the end of it for like grabbing hoses and yoinking them off. So um, yeah, they're nice, but I mean, for, like I said, my day-to-day -day use, these will probably come most in handy. And um, yeah, they're not bad. So uh, yeah, let's close this out. So there we go. That is the Milwaukee Deep Reach needle nose pliers. Um, seems like a decent enough tool. I still stand by that it was a dumb demonstration. 
no one no one needed that could have just shown them working anybody who ever uses these would oh wow that's pretty cool it's my personal opinion i got i i i got pet peeve with with tool people who do tool demonstrations if you if you didn't know but um yeah so nice enough time will tell uh how they hold up and, and what have you but um yeah out of the package in the hand i can't see how how you'd go wrong uh trying them out like i said for me these are not a, a daily driver tool if you if you do have a situation where you're using something like these all the time kind of let me know i'm kind of curious myself like i said i've only ever used these when the stuff i have in the tool bag right next to me doesn't work and i kind of need something to get a little bit deeper with a little bit more grip i don't i don't know that's just my thing so um yeah and um this would be my first full video with the new camera looking down in in my face i have one It'll probably be two back for you guys as far as the first time I used it. I just used it on my face and the GoPro going down. And uh, I didn't mention anything about the camera now when I was kind of hoping to see if you guys actually noticed or not. But um, yeah, so it's like, like when your wife comes home with a new hairdo and she doesn't say anything and you you don't notice and she gets mad at you. I won't do that though. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, I will uh, put a, I'm going to link these. I'm going to see if, sorry, if, if. Uh, YouTube, their shop thing, has a link I could provide for you for these. Um, uh, Amazon is selling these for like $40 more than everybody else. So if I can't find a YouTube uh, shop link for these, I will put an Amazon link down. Just for reference, don't use that. You can get them cheaper anywhere else aside from Amazon. So, um, yeah, as always, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the, uh, the old, uh, uh, comment section there. I'll be sure to get back to you. And, uh, yeah, that's a video. Thanks for watching. There you go.